Why F-23 vs F-22, why the F-22 Raptor beat the F-23 stealth fighter, pilot Paul Metz explain, the only man who flew both F-22 and YF-23. The YF-23 Black Widow, an aircraft, that has captured imaginations like few non-successful aircraft designs ever have. We now get an unprecedented look at the aircraft's unique and highly innovative flight control system, from Northrop's top test pilots. Roy Martin and Paul Metz explain why the aircraft lost to the YF-22. It provides some fascinating details about lesser-known aspects of the YF-23. Northrop's YF-23 Black Widow, we hear directly from famed test pilot Paul Metz. Metz started his career as an F-105G Wild Weasel pilot in Vietnam and went on to become one of America's preeminent test pilots. He flew Northrop's YF-23 on its first flight during the advanced tactical fighter competition that pitted the jet against Lockheed's YF-22 and also went on to do the same for the F-22A. He flew both the fighters. He describes what the advanced tactical fighter program was like from the inside and just how good the YF-23 actually was. In addition, we get extra color on the accelerated flight test program Northrop executed for the competition from test pilot Jim Sandberg. Their testimony combined gives us an unprecedented look into the YF-23 program and paints a clear picture that YF-23 was indeed equal if not superior to its competition. The YF-22 incredible flight control system on the jet, which was the end result of Lockheed winning the advanced tactical fighter tender. The hardest hitting quote comes at the end of the lecture by the two test pilots, where Metz states, Never hang your head in shame about what we did. We built a tremendous product that would stand side by side with anything else, and in many cases exceed the capabilities of anything else. And we can always be proud of that. Sandberg and Metz also note that both aircraft met the advanced tactical fighter requirements and that Lockheed was chosen because the Air Force had greater confidence they could better manage the program. Metz makes another incredibly valuable point about how Lockheed knew how to present and market their airframe far better than Northrop did. He notes that not everyone who would be in a position to select a fighter aircraft would be an engineer and that they may not even be technically astute. So leaving lasting impressions on a conceptual level, even if they don't tell the whole story technically, can give one side an advantage over the other. Northrop's team was made up of brilliant engineers Mets as they were beyond compare but they thought and spoke almost exclusively in engineering terms. Meanwhile, Lockheed infused far more marketing, salesmanship, and possess lasting impressions as Mets eloquently puts it into their YF-22 flight demonstration program. They fundamentally understood how to sell their aircraft and how showmanship heavily impacts the acquisition and the decision-making process. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.